Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello. My name's George Agambar and I'm a UK music producer. In today's video we're going to be having a look at how we can create a sampler instrument. And by this I mean how we can create an instrument from a group of samples we may have. Basically mapping different sections of audios onto notes in a MIDI controller. So if you want to make some really interesting sounds in your mixes, make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Wednesday. And things will never be the same when I hear your name since you kiss me in the rain. So today we're going to be having a look at creating a sampler instrument from a raw vocal stem. Now you may be thinking, when and why am I ever going to use this technique? But it can be really handy. It's really useful when you want to create backing vocal tracks when you have oohs or ahs in the backing vocals, or if you want a really unique sounding synth instrument. I've found that it's enhanced quite a few of my more electronic pop productions, especially after I've created the instruments, I've played around with the formants and effects that I've applied to it. And we're going to be having a look at that a bit later on in the video. But first, let's have a look at what we need to do to prepare the track and to create the instrument. We need to have a raw vocal stem to base the sound of our instrument off of. Here I've got a raw vocal singing a chromatic scale starting on D. Now, before I turn this scale into an instrument, I want to make sure that the tuning's really tight. So I'm going to quickly use flex pitch and apply an extra auto-tune plugin. This will just make sure that the vocal sounds perfect. The next thing we need to do is to cut up the audio track into each individual note and separate them slightly. So, then we've prepared our track and now we need to turn the cut up notes into an instrument. Now you can do this by mapping each region or each cut up note onto a certain key on your MIDI controller individually. However, there is a much quicker and much easier way to do this, which we're going to have a look at now. So all you need to do is select all the cut up notes and right click. We then go to convert and then convert to new sampler track. When we click this, a little pop up menu should appear. So you can select the region or transient markers. If you select regions, then Logic will map each individual region to a note. If you select transient markers, it will use the transients in your audio to do this. So as we've got individual regions, because we cut up the audio track, we're going to leave this on regions. You then simply put in a new name for the instrument. So here I'm just going to call it vocal instrument. Then you choose the trigger notes. So this is the range of notes you sang. Here we went from the D above middle C, so D4, to the octave above, so to D5. Then you simply click OK and your track and instrument is made. Now we've made the instrument. You may like the instrument so much that you want to be able to use it on other projects or in other mixes. So let's have a look at how to save the instrument so you can use it time and time again. You want to open up the synth from the channel strip. You then click options on the right hand side and then save instrument as. And you can save the instrument ready for use in any other projects. So now that the instrument has been made and saved, there are some really cool effects that we can apply to it to make some really interesting sounds in our mixes. These are just a few of my favourites and an example of a time when I've used this technique in one of my own productions. One of my go-to effects when I use this technique is to use the vocal transformer to adjust the formants. Basically, this makes the audio sound a bit more chipmunky and robotic, which is quite a common sound in more electronic pop music. You can also use this to shift the pitch of the audio as well if you want. Other cool effects would be quite a long delay with lots of repeats and a stereo tremolo to move the sound between the speakers. So here's a line that I created in one of my productions using this technique that I then applied some of the effects I mentioned to. As you can hear, it makes a very fresh, modern sounding pop instrument, but it's also one that is completely unique to my mix as it's been made from my vocals, which is what I love so much about this technique. So that's how we use our vocals to create our very own instrument. 
As I've said, it can be used in some really interesting and unique ways. It can also be a bit of a lifesaver, especially when you want to record backing vocals, but your singer's only recorded one line for you. You simply turn their voice into an instrument and play in the backing vocals that you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you again soon.